next lesson is sewing a double weld pocket and will be taught by Karina Georgiou, a technical designer, production manager, fashion entrepreneur, and a former architect. The tools and supplies you'll need for this lesson are muslin, fusible interfacing, an 18 inch clear plastic ruler, pocketing, a pencil, chalk, clippers, scissors, thread, a sewing machine, and an iron and ironing board. For this lesson, you'll need to prepare, out of muslin, a main body piece, 11 by 12 inches, two weld pieces, 6.5 by 1 inch, and a pocket facing piece, 6.5 by 2.5 inches. Out of pocketing material, a top pocket bag, 6.5 by 5.5 inches, and a bottom pocket bag, 6.5 by 4.5 inches. Out of fusible interfacing, two weld pieces, 6.5 by 1 inch, and a slit piece, 6.5 by 2.5 inches. Draw a line for the pocket slit, 3 inches down and 5.5 and inches wide, centered on your main body piece. Mark two lines parallel to the slit, a quarter of an inch away, on top and bottom. This represents the seam allowance. Draw a triangle on each end, one half inch away from the corner. Turn your main body piece over to the wrong side and apply the fusible interfacing piece, stick side down, onto the center of the pocket slit and press. Place interfacing on the wrong side of both welts and press. Then fold the welts in half lengthwise and press. On the welts, mark a one half inch seam allowance line on both ends. Then mark a one quarter inch seam allowance on the lengthwise edge of each welt. For demonstration purposes, we are using pencil. If this were fashion fabric, you would use chalk. The first step in sewing the double welt pocket is to line up the stitching line of the welt to the stitching line of the main body piece. Place the corner of the welt exactly over the corner of the slit. Be sure to back tack at the start and the end of the stitch, but be careful not to stitch beyond your corner markings. Turn back the seam allowance to check that both top and bottom weld stitching are even. Use the point of the scissors to clip the center of the slit line. Cut along that line until you get to the triangle point. Cut into both sides of the triangle to the corner. It is important to clip accurately so that your corners will be even. Repeat this step on the other side. Turn the seam allowance under toward the wrong side. Position the triangle seam allowance over the welt seam allowance and machine tack. Repeat this step on the other side. Sew the pocket facing to the pocket bag with one half inch seam allowance. Press the seam allowance downward in the direction of the pocket bag. Press the welt opening first on the right side and then on the wrong side. Always use a pressing cloth when pressing on the right side of fashion fabric. To attach the pocket bag, begin by joining the seam allowance of the top welt with the pocket facing piece. Stitch across using 1 quarter inch seam allowance. Align the lower pocket bag with the lower welt seam allowance at one quarter inch and then stitch across. To create an edge stitch around the welt pocket, start by positioning your top pocket facing piece in an upward direction and your bottom pocket piece in a downward direction. 
on the right side of the sampler, edge stitch the pocket starting from the middle of the lower welt all around, stopping at the middle of the pocket opening on the other side. Turn the sampler over and flip the upper pocket bag downward. Then continue edge stitching around the top welt. To close the pocket bag, join the upper and lower pocket bags beginning at the top with one half inch seam allowance. And this is your finished double weld pocket. We hope that you found this video helpful and informative. For more fashion how-to videos, visit universityoffashion.com.